lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Fighting games have been on somewhat of a decline the past couple years, ever since the end of arcades. There weren't a whole lot of popular ones last console generation, but this generation seems to have brought the fighting game genre back to the big leagues. Fighting games like Street Fighter V, Mortal Kombat X, Injustice 2, and Tekken 7 are some of the more popular games currently out right now. And now, ARMS is here to bring a whole new generation to love fighting games. And honestly? It's working. ARMS is a new exclusive fighting game for the Nintendo Switch that is really fun, colorful, but still really precise and challenging. The biggest appeal ARMS has is its controls. Your character is able to launch their own fists at another character from a distance with the goal of hitting them square in the kisser. And you do it like this. Motion controls. But really, the controls are some of the most intuitive and innovative controls I have ever seen. It feels so natural to just throw punches, grab, and block. And now, a demonstration of how to play ARMS with your own ARMS. Hold the Joy-Con as if you were holding two Joy-Con in this way. To move left or right, tilt the Joy-Con in a parallel manner corresponding to the direction you wish to move. To block, Make a tiny teepee with the Joy-Con for your feelings to take shelter in. In order to jump or dash, act as if the Joy-Con were a can of hairspray and spray that hair, girl. And finally, the punching. Visualize a bicycle and pretend you have absolutely no idea how to ride a bicycle. This has been a demonstration of how to play arms with your own arms. Don't worry, if you would rather not wave your hands in the air like you're punching a bear, there are more traditional button controls that work just as well. But this is probably the first game I've ever seen where most people prefer to use the motion controls. And I don't blame them. These motion controls work perfectly. But even if a fighting game has great controls, it doesn't mean anything without a memorable cast of characters. And does ARMS have a memorable cast of characters? Well, it's a good thing I armed myself with the answer to that question. We got Swirly Face, stereotypical girl character, chained to the rhythm, Lazarus, the most racist possible Japanese character, her arms are made of noodles. We all live in a the only person whose arms haven't been amputated, Robocop, Sneaky Snack, and the result of taking one too many jello shots. Every character's arms are made of different things, and it's pretty creative. I mean, yeah, springs, ribbons, and coils are no-brainers, but noodle arms, snakes, hair, and DNA? Freaking DNA? I can only imagine what it was like in the conference room of the people who came up with all of this. All right, all right, we need, we need this, we need to get some ideas, we need to get some ideas. All right, what are some things that twist? What are some twisty things? Give me this right now, go. Twisty things, springs, springs. Good. What else? Ribbons. Ribbons! Yes! Yes! Okay, uh, 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 DNA. Swirly uh, things. Swirly things! Yes! Chains. Pat, we're genius right now. Okay, swirly. Swirly. Uh, come on, come on. Uh, ties. Yeah. Ties. My grandma's back here. What else? Tree. Trees. Tree spin. No, 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 no. Swirly. We got, oh, what do we got? We got, we got, we got, we, we, we have, we have, we have. Pat, you and me? Right now, okay? Paper! Pat, you're on fire! That, that, that's wiggly. That's wiggly. That's wiggles! That's, that's wiggly. Wiggly. That's, no, 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 that's not wiggly, that's swirl! Every character has their own special ability. Ribbon Girl can double jump, Master Mummy can heal as he blocks, and DNA Dude can... melt. Not only are there 10 characters to choose from, there are 30 arms attachments to customize your characters with. Arms attachments range from boomerangs, to homing missiles, to machine guns, to just plain boxing gloves. These attachments really give the game tons of replayability. My favorite is the good old punching gloves, because nothing is more satisfying than seeing your fist glide through the air straight into your enemy's face. These characters all have one common goal in the game's arcade mode, to defeat 10 fighters including Max Brass, to take home the arms trophy 
The lovable announcer Biff does point out some personal relationships between the fighters before they beat the living crap out of each other, but mostly, there's no story, and I'm fine with that. The combat is a simple rock-paper-scissors of punching, blocking, and grabbing. Grab breaks block, block stops punches, and punches stops grabs. And for those of you who might get sick of just one-on-one -on -one matches, there are also two-on-two -two matches that you can play with your friends, or online. Speaking of online, that feature works splendidly. I'm not a huge online player myself, but I've already spent a fair amount of time online for ARMS, and even if you still don't think that's enough to keep you satiated, there are also some other modes like volleyball, basketball, and skill shot, where you just have to hit more targets than your opponent. This game is so much fun, and I can't get that freaking theme song out of my head. And that's all I can really say about this game. With the amount of life and color that it's brought to the table, ARMS has quickly become one of my favorite Nintendo IPs, right up there with Mario and Zelda. And the theme song. Oh my lord, the theme song, it's, 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 it's superb. You should 100% buy this game. It's like having an amazing arcade boxing game right in your living room. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode, and come back next Tuesday for another episode of The Toki Show. And if you liked what you saw here, please like and subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell so you are notified for when I do have an episode next 